Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate mean, variance, and standard deviation for this given grouped data in terms of score in the first column and their frequencies in the second column. And now in our very first step, we are going to calculate the mean. And here I have just wrote down our grouped scores right here into this very first column as you can see over here. These are called grouped scores. And now in the second column, we are going to find the midpoint of these given grouped scores. And these midpoints are represented by X. To find the midpoint, let's look at this one, 20 and 22. Let's put down these numbers, 20, always put down plus 22, and always divided by 2. So 20 plus 22 is 42, divided by 2 equals to 21. So the midpoint for this first scores is going to be 21. Likewise, if you add these two numbers and divide by 2, we are going to get 24. Likewise, this is going to be 27, 30, and this is 33. And in the next column, third column, I have just wrote down these frequencies from there. As you can see, all these, their corresponding frequencies. And finally, in the fourth column, we are going to multiply frequency times this x. So this frequency is 6 times 21. If we multiply, we are going to get 126. If we multiply 4 times 24 is going to be 96. 3 times 27 is going to be 81. Likewise, this is 60. This is going to be 2. 31. And finally, we are going to add up all these values in this fourth column. And let's write it down over here. I'm going to write down whenever we add something, we call it sigma. So sigma of f of x equal to if we add all these values, that is going to be 500 and 94. And by the way, over here, this notation is called sigma, and sigma means sum, or sometimes we call it addition. And likewise, we are going to add these frequencies up as well. So I am going to, when we add it, we always say sigma of f equals to, if we add these numbers, we are going to get 22. And finally, here is our final product, which I have nicely wrote down over here. And now we are going to find the mean, and we will be using this formula over here. That means it is x bar represented by mean equals to sigma of f of x divided by sigma of f. And we know that sigma of f of x, we figured out 594. So I am going to write down 594 divided by sigma of f is 22 divided by 22. That is going to give us 20. 7. Thus our mean turns out to be 27. And now in our next step, step number 2, we are going to calculate the variance. And by the way, we know in these three columns, the values, the scores, the midpoint and the frequency that we figured out in our previous step. And now in our fourth column, we are going to put down, write down the mean value x bar. And we know we figured out mean in our last step, that is 27. Let's write down these values, 27, 27 across the board. 
And now in our next column, the fifth column, we are going to find the difference. X minus X bar. We know we have X over here is 21 and X bar is 27. We are going to subtract. 21 minus 27 is going to give us negative 6. Likewise, 24 minus 27 is going to be negative 3. This is going to be 0. This is going to be 3. And this is going to be 6. And now in this next column, we are going to square whatever we got in our previous column. So negative 6 square is going to be 36. Negative 3 square is going to be 9. Likewise, 0 square is 0. This is a 9. And this is 36. And finally, in our last column, we are going to multiply this frequency f times whatever we got the value in our previous column over here. So that means we will be multiplying this frequency f column and this column where it is x minus x bar squared. Let's multiply this thing. 6 times 36 is going to give us 216. 4 times 9 is going to give us 36. Likewise, this is going to give us 0. This is going to be 18. And here, 7 times 36 is going to be 252. And finally, we are going to add up these values. If we add them up, we're going to be using sigma to notation of this f times x minus x bar square. If we add all these values, that is going to give us 522. And likewise, we are going to add these frequency values as well. So we're going to be using sigma of f equals to 20. Two. And here is our final product. I put down these number really nicely as you can see. And now we can easily calculate the variance and its formula is right up here. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that we are using this formula for data sample. Once again, this is for the sample. So the variance is going to be variance is simply equal to the numerator on this formula is simply this value as you can see 522 I can write 522 on the top divided by this value Sigma F we figured out which is 22 and then we have a minus 1 so that's gonna give us 5 22 divided by 21 which is equal to if we calculate it this turns out to be 24.86 so thus our variance turns out to be a 24.86 and now in our final step, we are going to calculate the standard deviation. And here is standard deviation formula. Standard deviation is always equal to the square root of the variance. And our variance value is 24.86 that we figured out from our previous step. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So we are going to get the square root of 24.86. If we simplify this thing, we are going to get 4.986. And that is our standard deviation. So thus our standard deviation turns out to be a 4.986. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.